we're friends, right? Right? Hello, welcome back to my channel. Or if it's the first time you're here, hello for the first time. Thanks for joining. Please don't turn this off. Please like me. Anyway, if you're new, subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Today I thought I'd put up a favorites video, and the last time I put up a monthly favorites video was two months ago. I was gonna make them monthly, but then last month I didn't have any new favorites. I literally liked all the same things that I liked the month before. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna put up a monthly favorites video when I have new favorites. And this month, guess what? Did you guess I have new favorites? Cause that's correct. I'm going to Vietnam tomorrow and so I'm gonna talk about all my travel favorites. Enough of me being super cute, let's start this video. <laughs> I'm gonna start with my number one top favorite thing of the month. This is my favorite thing that happened all last month. Actually, this is my favorite thing that's happened all year. We launched our podcast, Should They Don't Tell You, two weeks ago and oh my God, I just need to say huge shout out to you guys. Huge thank you, thank you like so much. Thank you so much for all of the support and feedback that you've given and I, the response you guys gave, I'm just like overwhelmed with gratitude by how much you guys responded to this podcast. It's something that Steve and I have been trying to do for a year and a half. We love doing it. It's called Shit They Don't Tell You. It's about all the things that we wish someone would have told us before we had to learn it the hard way in life. Finances, relationships, things that maybe would have been useful in our day-to-day -day lives, but no one ever tells you about that. I'm super excited for upcoming episodes. We have some amazing guests. We've already had some amazing guests. Guess. Episode 3 came out today featuring David So. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, it's available on CastBox for both iOS and Android users and computer users. And it's available on Apple. We're trying to get it on more platforms. I know a lot of you want it to be on Spotify. We're also working on getting full episodes up on YouTube. It's definitely been my favorite thing that's happened this year. Wow, why did I start with the best thing? That's gonna just make everything else look pale in comparison. But hey, that's how we roll here. We start high and just end on a low. Please like me. You can end this video now and go listen to that podcast. I don't care. Next! This! This might look to you like a regular cat hair covered hoodie. But guess what? It's not. It is a travel cat hair covered hoodie. And it is amazing. I hate checking bags. I don't check bags. I just refuse to. I like to have all my stuff with me. You're allowed two carry-on items, but this is like having a third carry-on item on your person. And it is amazing for that. There's so many pockets, it can hold regular things, but then it can also hold an iPad, it can hold your journal. The, the zipper is a stylus pen, so you can write right there on the plane with you. Also, it can hold your passport, it can hold your phone. Inside of the hood part of the hoodie is an inflatable pillow, and then the hood part also doubles as an eye mask. It was a little pricey, it was a little bit over $100, but for the fact that you don't have to check a bag ever, I think it's worth it. I love it. This is, this is great. You're great. Hey, I like you. Thanks for being here. Next, have you met a hanging toiletry bag? If not, like what are you doing with your life? What are you doing, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing right now so I can judge you. I mentioned this on a favorites video in previous years, but I had a larger one at the time and it was kind of bulky when it came to packing into a carry-on bag. This one is the perfect size. I used it last month when I went to Vegas and it was just perfect. You can hang it on a towel rack, you can hang it on a doorknob when you travel. The options are limitless. Actually, there's probably a finite amount of options, but they're plentiful. It just fits everything. It's a really cool thing. You need it. If you're gonna travel, like you need this. Yay, we like this. Next, I like books. I wish that Audible would sponsor me and I would tell you to download your books on audio. Uh, because that would probably actually save you a lot of space, but they're not sponsoring me and guess what? I like hardcover books. So I've been reading this book this month called Failing Forward by John C. Maxwell. Really great book. I know it kind of sounds like I'm a failure and I'm using this book as a way to justify me failing, but that's not what the book's about, okay? So you could take away the bias that you have of the person telling you about this book, but it's really about how to see failure as not something to avoid, but as a necessary part of success. And then all successful people have endured a lot of failure. Just basically be, not being scared of failure and being okay with taking risks and, and seeing failure as part of the journey instead of an obstacle. I'm not even halfway done with it yet and I am already so enlightened. I like this. Next, 
Maybe if I was sponsored by Audible, I would tell you to listen to your book on headphones, but I'm not. Again, I don't know why I'm the only person not sponsored by them, but I'm not. So anyway, music is a thing you can listen to with headphones, and I do. I have a playlist on my phone specifically for plane rides that just makes me feel all nice inside. Uh, I don't know what it is about being so high up in the air. I get really sentimental and I have a lot of feelings and I usually cry on planes. Is that normal? I don't know. It feels good. It's like a cleansing cry. You know what else you can listen to? A podcast. Sure they don't tell you. Go check it out. These are Urbanista Seattle headphones. They're noise canceling and they do a really good job at canceling all the noise. I like these. Next! A drone. I love this. I love this a lot. I bought this for our honeymoon trip to Bali last year in November and you can go watch some of the drone footage that I took. I did not expect this to be as fun as it is. I ended up falling in love with droning and I, I don't know like there, it's one thing to watch a vlog of somebody talking and like you see their face most of the time and then maybe some b-roll shots but it's another thing to get like the whole scope and the whole picture of what they're looking at and I think that drones are such a good way to capture that and it's so pretty like everything is so pretty with the drone it just does such a good job you do such a good job I'm like so happy that you're in my life I'm, I'm so happy you're in my life it takes really artsy shots I put like very artsy narration behind my drone shots so get ready for some of that and if you're like yeah right you can't make art <laughs> look at this sorry let me slow it down to make it beautiful you're up in the sky I'll carry you home home to the mountain Okay, I tried to argue that now, buddy. You can't. Well, you can. Please like me. This is the Maverick DJI Pro. DJ, D, DJ, this is the Mavic DJI Pro. It's very travel friendly, the way it folds up like this. And it's a, it's a pretty good price for drones. I like this. Next, gotta include my vlog camera. I mean, I vlog with it everywhere. I don't know if it's a favorite so much as it is, I just use it all the time. This is the G7X Mark II. I've been using this and the G7X Mark I for the past three years. I've dropped it a thousand times, and even though I have a warranty, I'm too lazy to turn it in. Why do I buy warranties? I buy it because I know I'm gonna drop it, but then I guess I don't take into consideration how lazy I am and don't use the warranty once the once it is dropped. You win, Canon. I've seen better cameras on the market, but I can't afford them right now. What do I look like? A tree made of money? Hopefully not. I don't want to look like a tree. Hopefully I look like a person. But along with that, what I'm even more excited about, it's weird to say that I'm excited about a tripod, but I'm excited about this tripod. I just bought it and it's super, it's compact. It's, it's tiny. Uh, it has a little, look at a little wristlet. It's light. You can use it as a selfie stick. And look at this. Wait, wait. Oh. Look at this, wait, holy shit. Look at this, the length goes up and it gets really tall. So if you're setting it on a desk, it's at your face level. Instead of way down here, having you put your face down here like the other tripods that came with the camera. So I like this, it's really sturdy. I think it was like 40 bucks on Amazon. I haven't used this traveling yet, but I'm excited to. I've used it for taking B-roll in my Tasty Tuesday video and it worked great for that. Oops, oh no, a leg broke off. What did I do? Oh no. Oh, that's cool. Happy accident. So I guess the bottom comes off and you can attach a selfie stick onto it. Wow. Discoveries. They're made here in this video. I like this. Next. I think this is the last thing. The last two things. Wow, we're, all, we're at the end of the video. These two palettes. These are both from Urban Decay. They're great for traveling with because this one is a contour palette and has everything. It has highlighter, bronzer, and blush all in one palette. Also, a lot of you have been asking me what highlighter and contour I've been using lately, and this is it. This is all of it. I'm not one to brag about a contour palette, but this is this is the shit. This shit's the shit. I like it because I like the colors. I think they're really complimentary, and then I also like that there's not that much fallout. Similarly, the uh, the eyeshadow palette. This is Urban Decay's Naked Petite Heat. They also have a regular size palette called Heat, but I like the Petite Heat one. It's all matte colors. I'm wearing all of the eyeshadow colors right now. I've been wearing these for the past month and a lot of you have been asking me what eyeshadow I've been wearing. This, bitches. You're not a bitch, I'm so sorry, don't leave. It's all warm colors, warm matte colors. They blend easily. There's no fallout. I like, I like it. I like it. It's my favorite. Yeah, we like you. We're friends, right? Right? 
Okay, we're friends. I know I said that was the last item. I have to give a shout out to this item. They've definitely been one of my favorite things this month and I feel like I have to, I have to tell you about this. Pizza Hut sent me these shoes and they order pizza for you. If you press a button on the tongue, it orders you pizza using geolocation and delivers it to you wherever you are. What? <laughs> what? This is the future. These are the future. I'm holding the future. Why do we need these? We don't but we have them, they exist. I like these, I like these a lot. Anyway, that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I like making favorites videos more than you like watching them, and that's fine with me. This month has been really, really, really good, and I'm just so, I'm like so happy. Also, I have a secret, and I wish I could tell you, and I can't right now, but I can tell you really, really soon, and I'm excited about it, and no, I'm not pregnant. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. Bye! Go listen to my podcast. Also, follow me on Instagram at Nikki Limo. I'm gonna be Instagram storing my entire Vietnam trip. Bye.